afternoon peeps and you're all very welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amanda, this is Miss Glamazon Fab Over 40. That will be changing in a few months. I have decided to come on here and just do a little small little makeup just to show you a little eye look that I just slap on. If like for example today I've just gone out for a bit of a walk I have to say the steroids are a great man. Oh my God. If you watched my unboxing of my GHD um, products that I received, um, oh, my chest was in a jock. I'm, I've had 16 steroids and I have to say, talk about opening you up. Ooh, combine them with a nebulizer, you're sucking diesel. Right, the product I use now, this is sort of like, I'm on the way out the door, I'm in a fucking hurry. I need to get, I need to slap something on. Now, at the moment, I'm wearing my moisturizer, which is by Neutrogena. And I'm wearing um, the CC cream from by Terry, just to give me a little bit of a glow and a tiny bit of a powder around my mouth and down the center of my face where I get oily. But around my mouth, because I was actually, um, I picked up a cup of coffee down the town and dragged it home. Um, <clears throat> I just fancy to take what I have lunch on in there now at the moment in the oven. I've got chicken on. So I'm going to make a chicken sandwich. So this here, look, this is something I bought in America. And I had it in its package for ages, lads. I never really just, it just didn't, I didn't think to use it, to be perfectly honest. I was just left it there, unwrapped it, looked and said, she's a gorgeous colour, look. It's called Amber Rush. It's by L'Oreal. It's one of their infallible eyeshadows. And it's absolutely fabulous as a one and done colour. So I'm going to come in as close as I can here to the screen for you guys. My camera would not be of professional standard. And I am using my um, view screen here as a mirror. Although one will pull up a proper mirror if necessary. I just want to piss you all off. I don't want you thinking I'm not paying attention to you or I'm being ignorant by looking away. Because I'm not. Okay, so I have a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush here. And you literally just pop this on the eye. Now you do have to build this one up, but you will notice that for anybody out there, it's kind of a peachy color. Now, if you have blue or green eyes, gray eyes, blue or green, this will pop your eyes out of your socket. Literally, this color is beautiful on blue eyes. As you can see, totally opens up your eyes, makes them look really, pops them. So I just keep building it up till I get it to the intensity I want it. Which isn't too mad because I'm a, I'm just sitting in for the afternoon watching, um, I'm watching an old video on YouTube at the moment by, uh, if you haven't watched her, I suggest you check out her channel, Lydia Elise Millen. She's doing a tanning video with, um, using Bondi Sands. It's a product I've thought about buying, but I've always thought that, what reading the reviews, that it's good, it's great, but it's a bit drying and my skin is already as dry as a bone. So what you're doing is you are literally building this color up in intensity. Now you can put it on as dark as you like. I'm putting it on a bit darker than I would normally, simply because my camera, my lighting here isn't, it wouldn't be of a great standard. And if I don't put it on that little bit, heavier as it were, you might not be able to see it. I then take my Real Techniques brush and I pinch it and I go under the eye, on the outer corner, just to give that, a, I should have brought out a smaller brush. But I always do this, I always go under the eye. And then I buff it out with a Just a normal buffing brush. It's okay, Miss Moo. <laughs> and you can see that there now. That's nicely buffed in. There's no fallout with this. I just hope it's, it's showing up on camera for you guys. You can see how open, how it just totally pops my eyes. I then take some mascara. And the mascara I'm using is by L'Oreal. Oh, is that any is that, is that even news to you? The amount of L'Oreal products I use, I swear to God. As I've said in previous videos, L'Oreal, you need to step up to the plate here, guys. 
<laughs> I do use a shocking amount. Now this is just, as I say, I put the eyeshadow on a little bit darker than I would normally because the lighting in here is not up to YouTube standard. Then you slap on your little bit of mascara. One coat of mascara does that for me, lads. It is a beautiful colour. And I will say to you, it's kind of an orangey. Um, I'll show you a swatch in the back of my hand if it'll show up. It's an orangey colour. And it really does make green, blue or grey eyes pop. Literally, now if I put on a bit of um, eyeliner now, it would be popping even more. But you can see my eyes are just phew, ding, ding. And the last thing I finish up with... Now, if you want to really add a little bit, that's just daytime. Now, if you want to convert that into something a little more interesting, if you, I have, I'm using the Prism palette by Anastasia. I've had it for a while. My niece actually gave that to me. It's lovely. There's some lovely colors in that. If you really want to, I'm just trying to think what would go well with this look. There's a color here. I'm just going to have a look and read it because I've no glasses. Pyramid. It's a pale gold. You could dip a finger into pale gold and just pop it onto the lid here. Just to add a little bit of interest, then blend it out with whatever's left on your brush. Lighten it all up a bit. If you wanted to use a secondary color, to be perfectly honest with you most days i will just use amber rush on its own and then i finish off my look with my lips folks and on my lips i'll reapply for you we have a very very tiny amount of spice lip liner by mac cosmetics and i just go around my lips i can't feckin talk and do this Fill them in. Beautiful. Uh, as soon as I can get into MAC, I need a new one. <laughs> it's been used to within an inch of its existence. And then I finish off with this. This is a lip paint from L'Oreal. It's in the color 208 Off-White. Now, I love this over MAC Spice. I think it's the it's perfect nude and it's got good lasting power. And I well, when I went in to get my coffee, I had my mask on. And it didn't actually uh, come off in the mask, which I was surprised. And that, my friends, is my lips with my favourite nude combo of the moment. I really do love this. Now I'm going to come up close so you can all have a good look. Mm hmm. Now, if you want to, you can slap a bit of white on the inner corner, although there is no real good with your finger. That really opens up your eye again. I mean, but the Amber Rush is a great little eyeshadow and I'm sure if you've got an orangey, peachy colour in your collection, work away at it. That is my sort of going down to the coffee shop to grab myself a quick cup of coffee. I want to look like I'm put together and I've pulled my hair back into a pony. A bit of hairspray to sleek it so I don't look like a complete shit bag. I have to say, lads, I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. My God, my whole chest was just literally, I just, the asthma was just going nuts. And I was cough, 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 of course. Wasn't the bug, thank God, just a chest infection, which I still can feel on my chest, but with the steroids, I'm talking better. I'm I just breathing better, feel a lot better today. And I think I look a lot less like a shit bag than I did yesterday. So that's it. That's this little makeup look, lads. I hope that anyone out there with green, blue or grey eyes looking for a nice, any sort of an orangey eyeshadow, put it on your lid around the under part of your eyes. Put your mascara on, your eyeliner if you wear it, brush your brows, whatever, foundation, blah, 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 you wear. 
And it's just quick, it's simple, five minute job, you're out the door and you look like you made an effort. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I hope some of the tips and tricks I've shown here is of help to you. Hope you're all having a good day and that you're looking after yourselves and staying in, keeping yourselves safe and bug free. Um, I will be back next week. I will have an unboxing video coming next week for you all to watch. I got a big parcel and woo, I unboxed it and I will be showing you that video next week. But I look like an absolute shit bag in it, okay? Because it was made prior to being medicated for my chest infection. Okay, lads, that's it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my small little channel. It's a very small channel, I'm, but it's an honest one. If I do review a product, I do so honestly. Um, and if I don't like it, I won't be behind the door by telling you that it's a bag of shit and don't waste your money on it. If you have any requests for videos, please put them down below in the comments section. I read all my comments and I reply to all my comments because I actually appreciate every single subscriber that I have on my channel. Right, my friends, I'm going to go. I wish you all a happy day. Subscribe if you feel like it. Give me a thumbs up. That helps to grow my channel. And uh, have a lovely day and take care and God bless. Cheery bye. Bye.